If you were to go to the east side of Chicago, you would be met with plenty of industry outside of the Windy City. Located between Blue Island and the Indiana border lies a welding business, with a railroad interchange with the South Shoreline. However, what works in the area is a rare survivor from a bygone era. <laughs> EMD introduced the SW8 in 1950, which was during the time when EMD's yard switchers were selling like hotcakes. The SW8s had 800 horsepower with an 8-cylinder 567B engine, which was more powerful than any early designs that EMD made. However, it was less horsepower compared to the EMD SW7s. 300 units were produced in total, with the Lehigh Valley taking on 29 units for their roster, and being nicknamed the Pups. How sweet. 273 is our unit of focus today, which was built in September 1951, and like its sisters, will be put to use switching out various freight cars in the Lehigh Valley network. It will continue working into the days of Conrail, and surprisingly, it still wore its livery up until 1979, when it was renumbered to 8687, and eventually receiving the iconic... Where the fuck's calling me? And eventually receiving the iconic Conrail blue livery. Conrail would also rebuild the locomotives and convert them in SW8Ms, which would result in the removed side cooling grates and leaving the iconic hump on the hood. However, its service life would be short on Conrail, as around that time, the railroad was already starting to retire its predecessor locomotives in the 1980s, with A6A7 being a part of these retirements. The exact year that she was retired though is unknown, but it was likely around the mid-1980s or before. After her retirement, Goodbye, the locomotive would go under the radar for many years until the early 2000s, when a couple of rail fans would spot the locomotive at the Maryland Pig Iron of Illinois. It was confirmed later that the unit operated for the iron facility, picking up interchange gondolas from the South Shoreline and bringing them to be loaded on weekdays. The unit has been renumbered to 780, but it's still carrying its original Conrail Blue, the single chime horn, and even showing its Lehigh Valley roots within all that rust. And yet, it still operates to this day. It's not the only surviving Lehigh Valley SW8 though, as the Reading Blue Mountain Northern has three SW8s in service, and there are likely a few others surviving in industrial use, but really who knows. All that we know that is 86A7 is the prime example of a surviving Lehigh Valley SW8. And it's quite surprising, really, that a simple blue switcher, at 72 years old, is still kicking in industrial service as a sign of a bygone era. Yeah.